our WOW DIY series. Today I want to show you how to make your very own catapult. A catapult is a tool that uses mechanical advantage to forcefully propel projectiles. In ancient times, catapults were used as siege weapons to launch massive objects like boulders and spears at enemy troops and fortifications. In modern times, the military uses a steam-powered catapult to generate the speed required for a plane to take off from an aircraft carrier's short runway. There are different types of catapults, like the ballista and the trebuchet. The type of catapult we are building today is called a mangonel. Let's get started. Remember to check with an adult before you try any of our activities. Have them help you gather the following supplies. First, we'll need eight popsicle sticks. I like the colored ones, but you can also get plain ones and decorate them yourself. You will also need five rubber bands to hold it all together, as well as a plastic spoon. For the test phase, you'll want a few cotton balls and a marker and paper to create your target. We are now ready to build. Our first step is to stack six of our popsicle sticks together and wrap a rubber band around each end to secure them. Next, stack the last two sticks on top of one another and wrap another rubber band around one end. Next, insert the first bundle between the two sticks in your second bundle. Tie a rubber band in a crisscross fashion to secure the two bundles together. Finally, use rubber band to secure the handle of the plastic spoon to the top stick of your now open two stick stack. I find starting the wrap on your finger makes the process easier. This is probably the most difficult part. You have now created a catapult. You can use the paper and marker to make a target. Cotton balls make great ammunition. I find they work best when they're a little wet. Go ahead and challenge yourself to hit your target at different distances. If you want to explore further, try building more catapults with a different amount of sticks in the center stack and experiment with the length of your spoon. Form a hypothesis and then test how these changes affect your catapult's power. I hope this activity gives you hours of fun. Just don't forget to clean up all your materials when you're done. If you want to learn more about the science behind this activity, you can look up the different types of catapults and their uses, as well as terms like tension, potential, and kinetic energy. To find more fun and exciting DIY activities, just visit us at wpafbstem.com. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.